Now that it's Christmas morning, Santa's job is done. He's been around the world delivering presents to millions of boys and girls. It is a gargantuan task, and every year we wonder, how could he possibly get it all done? So we put our ace meteorologist, Ginger Z, on the case. She's been tracking him throughout the night, and you lost him somewhere over Kansas. Is that right, Ginger? That's right, I lost him. So difficult to track that Santa. It's been a long night and I set out to find out everything I possibly could, but that guy, ah, uh, you just can't track him. So how does he do it? Up, up and away! He's the ultimate man of mystery, prompting questions about everything from his reindeer to his beard. But never mind the man's facial hair. We wanted to find out how Santa does what he does. How does he circumnavigate the globe in the blink of an eye, when most of us can't seem to make it through airport security in under five hours? To find out, we headed to Columbia University, where physics professor Bob Mawinney teaches. If it's possible for a gentleman in a red velvet suit to uh, make rounds and deliver this much uh, material, we could all learn something. Consider this, there are roughly two billion children in the world. Even if Santa only delivers to the kids who identify themselves as Christian, that's still 700 million kids. Assuming there are three kids per household, that's more than 200 million stops. He would have to refuel. It's an awfully long ways to go unless he has some uh some power source that's uh, not known to us. Then there's the whole speed issue. If Santa travels from east to west with the sun, maximizing available nighttime, he's got about 32 hours to get to all the children of the world. That means he needs to travel just under 1,800 miles per second. We don't have any vehicles that can approach those kinds of speeds, even in space. And look out if he hits you. You certainly would not want to get hit by Santa going at these speeds. Even if he optimizes speed, there's still the matter of weight. How is he going to get all the presents off the ground? Say each kid gets a transformer. It's about a pound and a half per child. That equals 461,300 metric tons. Now that's some extra baggage. Our expert's opinion? So you might want to stash the toys at various places around the globe rather than carrying them all at once. That leaves the cookies waiting for Santa at each home. Assuming two cookies and a glass of milk add up to 308 calories per household, we're talking about a consumption of 72 trillion calories in just one night. Guess that explains why you might spy a rotund man with a white beard at the gym in the new year. So calories in the trillions. We're gonna have to do carrots next year for Santa. You know guys, I'm getting in the spirit. I'm gonna do some snowball fighting and also some snowman making.